operational. The elevator seems to be stopped at fourth floor. How the fuck did we walk in on the fourth floor? That makes no sense, bro. What did that say? Okay, lobby. Okay, we are in the hospital this time. I remember that much. Lobby, nursing school, dining room, counseling room, day room. All these fucking rooms. It's like each building we enter is always like triple the fucking room. That's why this game is so long. Now I gotta go through every single door and see what's unlocked. That's why I mean this game is whack a little bit. It's just a fucking like door knocking simulator. That's all this game is. Whose blood is that? I can't check that for sure. For sure. Oh shit. There's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not. Bro, how much do they fucking bleed to write that much? Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Huh? This nigga killed at least three people, bro. And he said it's okay because they wanted it. No, the fuck they didn't. Okay, so every door on here is locked. It's the same floor. And then the fact that this main character is not No, sir. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Fuck that. What cat was that? The fucking cat from uh, Alice in Wonderland? Why can't I see it? If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Isn't that like an actual poet, though? Emily Dickinson? Or have I just, like, heard that name for no reason? Bro, that's the cat! It just meowed three seconds ago. Dead animals, and you're not gonna have any reaction to that? Okay, I was about to say. Were these... It's kittens. Were they cut out of his stomach? Who could've... Bro, an evil motherfucker. That's who could've done that. They were just alive, though. Like, nobody came out of that room. Bro, is every fucking door in here locked? It's an abandoned building. Yuck. Was that piss? Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. You know for a damn fact that ain't vomit. Oh, shit. There's somebody in the chair. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no... Bro, get the fuck out of here. Don't you ever disrespect me like that again. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch the family scream. I can't answer. Bro, what the fuck happened in this room? Did somebody die of the coronavirus or some shit? It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? I almost walked in the puke. Yo, Raven, what are we doing now, bro? Are we going are we are we going job hunting or what? Or is our job just, you know, unemployment now? I wanna know how y'all's lives are affected by the fucking coronavirus, bro, because I'm gonna tell y'all what exactly happened today. I've, I woke up from the best sleep I've ever had in, you know, in like, I don't know, weeks or something. I felt amazing. The birds were chirping. The sun was fucking hot as hell. It was bright outside. The sky was as blue as your balls if you don't get enough sex in one night. And, you know, I walked I walked into work. Or I, you know, I got in my car, put on, put on that song. It's walking on sunshine. Oh, that song. It was just a good ass day, bro. I was enjoying that shit. And I got into work and they were like, yeah, um, tomorrow's going to be your last day. I'm sorry. So I was like, you dirty motherfuckers. I was having the best day I ever had in my life. What did that say? The door to the outpatient clinic it has a number lock on it. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. Duh. Yeah, so after tomorrow, I'm going to be fucking an unemployed-ass, bum-ass nigga, bro. That shit kind of whack, but there's really nothing you can do. I can't go looking for another job. Everybody's sick everywhere. A cardboard box that says lost and found on the top. There's probably a key in there. 
Bro, I searched all these rooms. There's nothing. All buttons pushed unlocked. Bro, what? What the fuck is this? This game want to be Legend of Zelda so bad. Hold on, click that back. I've had to watch a walkthrough in every... Huh? Bro, I swear I clicked that same button like 10 different times. What are you talking, bro? Got the cafeteria key. See, this game is always on some bullshit. Got an elevator trunk key. How many fucking keys were in there? Why were there keys in there in the first place? Where's the cafeteria at? He might be... Huh? He said he might be around here somewhere. What'd that say? The cafeteria is probably one of these big ass rooms over here. I knew it. Absolutely nothing in here but some fucking Pepsi and Coca Cola. Huh? The can is rolling on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small wire. What sense does that make? A small wire for what? Put the fucking wire. Why won't it let me? Not operational. Bro, put the wire in it then. Wait, what was the second key we got? The elevator trunk key? What does that mean? What needed a wire? Not operational elevator seems to stop. Okay, listen. Go up to the fourth floor and put the fucking wire in there then. That's not it. I don't know what it is. Unlock that shit. Got what the fuck is the AED? American Eagle discomfort. I don't know. An elevator trunk. Nothing left in here. What is an AED? Did somebody fucking? Can somebody put that in the chat? Oh, we gotta look this up. Automated external defibrillator. Bro, what what is that going to help me in this situation as of right now? How can that help me? Why well, am I going to fucking shock somebody? Oh, I'm going to shock that nigga when he tries chasing after me. I get you, I get you. For sure. So what could the wire possibly be used for? Let me see if there's anything here. Did I check this? No. Yo, I'm fucking praying that this is the last part in this game. Like, honestly. So I can be finally through with it and I can move on to something else. Who is that? Bro, who the fuck is that singing? Is that an ad playing or some shit? Hold up, I gotta save, I gotta save, I gotta save, I gotta save. I don't get it, who's singing? Bro, who is that? What are you doing in here, little Stuart? Don't act shocked at me. Why are you in here? What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Bro, can you talk before I smack the shit out of you? Um, are you mute, perhaps? No, he was just singing, you idiot. Mama said... Not to talk to strangers. Ah. Well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 year old. Bro, this is the kind of shit like... Okay, not to get like too... I don't know. Too disturbing, but... 
you know, whenever like pedophiles talk to kids and then <laughs> that's not funny. That's not funny. Whenever pedophiles talk to kids and the kids like, oh, I can't talk to strangers. And he's like, well, my name is a, uh, my name is David. You don't, I'm not a stranger anymore. You can talk to me now. That's kind of weird. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. That's not your goddamn name. Tell me your fucking name now! Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah. Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel, so fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. Huh? Bro, why are you in this fucking hospital? Bro, if I didn't find him, it was only a matter of time before, you know, he he would have been a goner and sold into, I don't know, sex slavery or something. I'm just saying, bro, that's the, that's the real life truth. That's the real life truth. I'm not trying to make fun of or anything, but if I didn't find him, somebody was bound to sell, sell him, bro. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home and I was walking right by Mama. Then she went to go get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came here to sing. But Mama hasn't come back. Nigga, you haven't gone back. Go back down and look for her. So you got lost. Is your mom, is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school. But you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all along. Great. A kid lost it late at night? I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Obviously. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in here and dark, isn't it? How about we go with me? How about you go with me to go see Mr. Policeman? Oh. Wait. I thought that was him saying it. Okay, let's go. No! Wh what's wrong, Mr. What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? You stupid bitch. Fluffy! Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. Bro, David, you are the most trash fucking person on earth. You just saw a little kid run away and you're just gonna be like, Well, I hope he's okay. Bro, go get him. I'll take him to the sheriff if I see him again. If you see him again, go find him. 